gear! Blaze gear! With pleasure. Welcome, dear friends, to this infernal arena. Hey, you're... I know I've seen that face before. So, you've managed to take back your whirlwind magic, too. Bravo. Now all that remains is your infernal magic. You little... Don't tell me you're... Now that I get a good look, there's definitely something off about you. I can only assume you're not quite as human as you look. <laughs> quite astute of you to notice, my little true love princess. I thought I'd concealed that little detail perfectly. But I suppose nothing gets by you, does it? As I said before, my name is Thermidor. It's a demon we're dealing with, and a high-ranking one at that. First the werewolf warrior, now him. My uncle certainly put together a formidable force. <laughs> I guess the old crone already clued you in about Marquis Zahar. I mean, even a well-heeled demon like myself pales in comparison to a genuine true. I suppose you could think of us as a motley collection of strays who have agreed to assist the Marquis. So it's true. My uncle is alive and well. Why is a man who died a hundred years ago still alive? And what are all of you planning? <laughs> I think you'd find it far more satisfying if you heard it straight from his mouth instead. Assuming you made it out of here alive, that is. You cur. Look, I'm sure you two would be cool standing around arguing and giving each other the stink eye all day. But me, I'd like to get this fight started, if it's all the same to you. I've had so let's get this over with. You can bitch at each other as much as you want over a cold beer back in town. Oh, a fine sentiment, that. But I'm afraid I don't see any frosty monks in your future. Oh yeah? Talk is cheap, pretty boy. Perhaps, but do give me a little more credit. I'm a fair hand in the ways of the sword. It would have been nice to spar a little. Unfortunately, perhaps for the both of us, there's someone ready and willing to take my place. What? The hell is that noise? Ragnar, above you! <laughs> <laughs> Allow me to introduce your opponent, Fafnir. So that's how you gave that brute my fire match, didn't you? Brute? You stand in the presence of a champion among dragons. Best not to lump him in with the riffraff of beasts he faced thus far. You would do so in your way. You better be kidding me. There's no way. That thing's... Ragnar, what's the matter? This is hardly the time to be stunned in the silence. Oh dear. Where has your loyal Blood Knight's mind wandered off to? This isn't exactly the best place to lose one's composure, is it? Oh, what shall we do, shall we? It's showtime, Fafnir! Burn these interlopers to cinders with the radiant fire of your wings!
firm. You truly are worthy of your status as true blood royalty. Your aura is as ominous as it is beautiful. I'm getting goosebumps from head to toe. You can cut it out with the flattery. Now that all my magic is where it should be, I don't intend to let you do as you please any longer. I'm coming for my castle. And when I take it back, I'll see you and your cronies exiled from this land. <laughs> On your hearts now, are you? Hey! Something on the tip of your tongue. Ravna? You could say that. I've got a question. Don't worry. It won't take long. <sighs> Frankly, I couldn't care less about anything you have to say. But I suppose granting you this small courtesy is the least I can do. After all, this is the first time I've been invested in battle. And as they say, to the victor, the spoils. Good. Well then. Why the hell did you do it? What is wrong with you? I'd never forget that, dragon. The flames? To think it's right in front of me again. But why here? What now? Ravna? I don't know what you're blathering on about. Fafnir is my familiar. How, when, and where I choose to make use of his abilities is... Oh. Oh, my. You can't be. <laughs> wow, I'm speechless. It truly is a small world. It really is you. That kid from all those years ago. You son of a bitch! Wagner, what's gotten into you? It's no wonder Ex Machina seemed unsettled after she returned. Ah, <sighs> but this is an unexpected amusement. The goddesses themselves couldn't have woven a more splendid twist of fate. Ex Machina! Who is she? Tell me! Why is she with you? <laughs> She's my darling little doll. Like a wondrous puppet moving without strings. A shadow in the guise of a human. That and nothing. If you're messing with me, I swear I'm gonna... Ragna, calm down! You're not thinking straight right now. I don't know what history you have with him, but losing your head now won't help matters. Shut up! This ain't your problem! If I let him get away now, I'll never- Well, isn't this a sort of sense? I figured you were off somewhere, playing around. Looks like I wasn't far off the Diegold, my canine compatriot. Surely you didn't come all this way just to chime me, did you? No, just to stop me doing something stupid. As soon as the princess regained her powers, you were to return to the castle to begin the ritual. Markizahar's orders were exceedingly clear on that point. Uh, very well. What sort of ritual are you holding in my castle? And what's this about you intending for me to get my magic back all along? I took it back by force, fair and square. <laughs> we'll just leave that delectable mystery for you to chew on for now. But poor Daigo did come all this way for me. And it would be worth to keep him waiting any longer. Don't even think of leaving. There's no way I'll... No way you'll let us leave! Don't make me laugh, Lord. You're quick to bear your fangs, but your wine carries the unmistakable scent of a second-rate <laughs> What am I supposed to be? Your trembling hands, your cold sweat, all you can do is how, and there is no threat in the empty words of a weakling who can't even safeguard a single eye. <laughs> My, you certainly didn't sugarcoat it, do you? Oh, I almost forgot to pass on this amusing little tidbit. Even as we speak, the good Marquis is probably paying the human sentiments a little visit. What? 
I'm sure I don't need to elaborate on what that means. Well then, on that note, I think the both of you had to <laughs> Did you hear what he said? Yeah. Sorry, I really lost my cool back there. It's just so many things happen one right after the other. I'm still trying to process it all. But there's no question about what we gotta do right now. Good. Then we need to get back to town as fast as we possibly can. If what Thermidor said is true, we have a grave matter on our hands. Yeah. All right. No time to stand around admiring the scenery. We need to haul ass! 